you got to understand that if Auschwitz or any one of these concentration camps really did exist, and the doctors and nurses that were working in that uh, in those places, they're the ones that were performing these operations with or without anaesthetic. Why am I telling you this? Just because they're doctors and nurses don't mean they're angels, don't mean they're looking after you. If these doctors and nurses are willing to do these things in concentration camps and participate in that concentration camp of doing such things, and I'm not just talking about concentration camps by connotation in Germany, I'm talking about concentration camps that have existed throughout the world. Do not look to your doctors and nurses for any therapeutic things because they're not giving it to you. That's why they're not operating under penalty of perjury. They're not operating as physicians and they're not operating and the list of no, no, no's, they are not following the guidelines of the oldest principles of what is health. Let food be thy medicine and medicine be thy food. They're not operating that system. They're operating the system of grotesque levels of mutilations which were enhanced in these concentration camps by a variety of organizations. And we already know them. We know them things like Operation Paperclip, which is just one. Mm -hmm. We know what happened with Monsanto in Georgia yeah. and the PCB boards, you know, the incinerators that quite literally created mutilations of people in their thousands in Georgia. The things that are happening to you is done to you by your consent. Yes, it's done by your consent until you speak up and then they run for the hills and you have to go chasing them because they need to lose their life. People that do these sort of things, taking up pseudonyms, which they call legal fictions and etc. And I have control over legal fictions. They get a bullet in their head. Yeah, and that's called a cull, a kill.